Taylor Swift speaks about her mother's battle with cancer in today's Entertainment City. But first, Rosie O'Donnell's daughter has been found safe and sound after she went missing for a week. 17 year old Chelsea was located by police in a New Jersey home. O'Donnell tweeted, Chelsea has been found and is safe in police custody. Thank you for all the help and light. The talk show host revealed on her blog yesterday that the teen hadn't been seen since August 11th. Reports say she wasn't reported missing until Sunday because O'Donnell believed she was with friends. Chelsea had left home with her therapy dog. O'Donnell's rep says the teen suffers from mental illness and had stopped taking needed medication before her disappearance. A worried O'Donnell had been sharing photos of her missing daughter on social media all day yesterday. The host recently announced her departure from The View, saying she needed to focus on her health and her family. Taylor Swift got personal with her fans in Arizona when she tearfully addressed her mother's battle with cancer on stage earlier this week. The singer was paying tribute to Ronan, the little boy that inspired her 2012 charity single. The mother of the four-year-old boy who died of cancer in 2011 was in the audience. I wouldn't know half as much as I know about childhood cancer and childhood cancer research if she hadn't shared her story about her son Ronan. Since then, I've had cancer hit really close to me in my family. In April, Swift revealed on her Tumblr page that her mother had been diagnosed with the disease. New couple alert, Rita Ora and Wiz Khalifa are sparking romance rumors after the pair was spotted on a late night dinner in West Hollywood earlier this week. Their cozy hango comes just after they were spotted together backstage at the Teen Choice Awards Sunday night. Or of course previously dated Rob Kardashian, Calvin Harris and most recently Ricky Hilfiger. Wiz was married to Amber Rose with whom he has a child. We're going to keep our eye on this maybe romance. Now here's the couple we know is feeling the love, Julianne Hoff and her NHL beau, Washington Capitals player Brooks Like. They've announced their engagement via Instagram with an adorable photo and a caption saying they are overwhelmed with joy and excitement. Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart are reuniting on screen in American Ultra. The pair hit the red carpet for a Hollywood premiere where they dished on the genre-defying flick. I had never read anything like this movie. It seemed like a sort of continuation of Adventureland, which is a movie that I did with Jesse like a couple years ago. Kristen and I play these sweet stoner kids who are then being attacked by the secret government force and we have to defend ourselves, but little do we know we actually have this kind of secret training. It's so much more interesting when you watch two people that aren't saying movie trailer lines like, we better get out of here, and just actually be like, oh my god, dude, what is going on? And so, like, you go, that is how I would react. American Ultra hits theaters on Friday. Speaking of movies, the Toronto International Film Festival has just unveiled major additions to its already star-studded lineup. Sandra Bullock's Our Brand is Crisis, Robert Redford's Truth, and Drew Barrymore's Miss You Already, just to name a few. The festival's closing film will be Anna Kendrick's latest, Mr. Wright. Also making the cut, Ryan Reynolds' Mississippi Grind. You want to play some cards, huh? Style is something Patricia Field knows very well. She's the force behind the iconic fashion on Sex in the City. Our Joanne Fracas caught up with a stylist in Montreal. Sex in the City was one of those, you know, once in a lifetime success stories. I look at it as sitting down playing poker and you get Delta Royal flush. <laughs> Don't forget to tune in for your entertainment news first thing in the morning right here on Entertainment City and anytime on Twitter at InCity.